What's up, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on something that I have been recently obsessed with for the past few months, and that is jade rolling. Uh, so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my routine, products, tips, tricks, all of that stuff. And if you guys are interested in this and would also like to see a gua sha routine, because this is um, different in its own way. Like I use this differently than I would use a jade roller. I'd be happy to do a quick video on this for you as well. So if you'd like that, then give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know. And before we get into it, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel and that you guys also come follow me on all my other social media platforms, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'm on Instagram when I'm not on YouTube. I actually kind of wanted to turn this into a little bit of a series, um, kind of like a three-part series if you guys are interested in it. So um, like I mentioned, I would definitely do one on gua sha, and then I also have massaging electronic facial massagers. Um, they vibrate and kind of do different pulsations on the skin. Um, so yeah, if you guys would be interested in that, I'd be happy to do like a three-part facial massage series on my channel for you guys. Currently, I have two different stone facial rollers. Uh, I have a green jade one, and I also have a pink quartz one. I'll have both of them linked in the description box for you guys. And um, if you are into crystals and stone healing, this could be for you as well. I'm not into stones and crystals, um, but it, you know, these stones and crystals do have um, healing properties to some people. So if you're interested in that, you can always work one of these into your routine as well. The first benefit of the facial roller with facial massage is going to be that it's going to help soften out tense facial muscles. I personally find that I tend to carry a lot of tension in my brow area because I furrow my brows a lot. I make a lot of crazy facial expressions. And when I'm editing videos, I find that I have my brows push together a lot. Um, so I hold a lot of tension there and the jade roller really helps like move all that tension out and just soften those tense muscles, much like a foam roller does for the body. So you use that foam roller to really, you know, push out and help release tension in the longer muscles of your body and like your back and your legs. That's essentially what this is doing for your face as well. The second main benefit that I noticed from jade rolling is significant depuffing and swelling in the face. So your face can hold a lot of excess fluid and that can make you appear bloated or swollen. So what you can do is actually use the jade roller to push the fluid out towards the lymph nodes and help with the drainage process. I noticed a huge difference under my eyes, especially after I jade roll. Um, this typically takes about 15 minutes if I really want to help that fluid get worked out. The way that you guys can really expedite the process of the depuffing and swelling is actually by keeping your jade rollers in the freezer. That way, once that cold stone hits your face, it's really going to help reduce the swelling. The last main benefit that I noticed for myself with jade rolling is instantaneous improved circulation. You will almost immediately start seeing a beautiful rosy glow that's blood flowing to the skin. It really helps if you kind of have a more dull complexion or your skin is really dry and just doesn't look as lively, the jade roller will instantly like bring life into your skin. It's really just like a workout for your skin. It's amazing and I love doing it every single morning because I feel like it just really wakes my skin up. One of the most crucial things with these facial rollers is that you want to make sure that you keep them clean and wash them every single time you use them. So I wash mine twice a day because I typically facial roll twice a day. I always use the Provon antimicrobial lotion soap. This is just my favorite. I like to start off by just cleansing my face with a micellar water or just water in general. Um, for the demo, I used a little bit of Evian spray on a esthetician gauze facial pad thing and just like wipe that off, made sure the skin was nice and clean before I went in with the roller. Now, you never really want to roll on dry skin just because it could cause unnecessary tugging. So I always like to have some sort of an oil base down on the skin. My two favorites right now are either the Milk um, they have like the little solid hydrating oil stick or the Josie Marin Light Argan Oil. For the demo, I showed you guys both. When I'm using the Josie Marin Argan Oil, I just do about three or four drops, put it all over the different quadrants of the base and really rub that into the skin. And then when I'm using the Milk Hydrating Oil Stick, I just rub this all over the entire face. You basically want to get yourself nice and greasy so that the stone has a lot of slip 
and um, it's not causing any tugging. Now when I'm facial rolling, I always make sure that I move in an outwards motion across the face. You're gonna, you know, sweep across and pick the roller up and then do it again. You never want to be going back and forth like this on the skin, um, just because it could potentially cause some unwanted tugging and that's just not good for the skin. As you guys can see with the rollers, they have one side where the stone is bigger and this can be used for bigger planes on the face where it's gonna be more convenient for you to use the larger side. And then the tinier sides are actually better for getting in smaller spaces of the face where the bigger one just isn't gonna fit. I like to use these um, underneath the eyes the most. With my pink quartz one, one of the things I actually really like doing is moving the stone this way because then it's not even rolling, but it's just cooling across underneath my eye. Um, I also really like using them at the same time in tandem. It's faster and I just like the way it feels because it's very cold and refreshing on the skin really really nice first thing in the morning so if i'm using them at the same time it's the same motion always going away from the face but just doing two at the same time now because i'm sharing with you guys a little bit more of my morning routine i went in with the daytime serum that i've been using uh this is the dior dream skin capture total and i just applied that all over my face immediately after jade rolling just so that it sinks in um, and then I love always using my Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, this is their primer moisturizer, but I really like using this as a skincare product because it visibly makes your skin a lot more plump and hydrated because it's got niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. It's just all around like a really great skincare benefit product. And then the moisturizer I've been using recently is the Acetophil Rich Cream. And then I always like to finish off with some sort of hydrating facial spray. So on this day, I used the Pharmacy Skin Dew, and I really love this one. So that's basically it, guys. It's super easy to incorporate into your routine, even if you only have an extra minute to do it. I just noticed that the improved circulation just gives you such a beautiful glow, and it really helps with removing muscle tension in the face. So it's just a really great beneficial step to add. And if you guys have any questions on this jade rolling, please be sure to just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you guys. I will have everything linked in the description box for you guys. Let me know if you want a gua sha routine and the other facial massagers as well. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you didn't earlier. Subscribe to my channel. Come follow me on Instagram. Leave me a comment down below just to talk to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.